Hi, fish people, and welcome to my brackish aquarium. As you know, I get the water from the brackish water lagoon, the end of the block from my house. It's not a long walk. Um, the water stays very clear, so I've been trying to keep my water changes to about seven days. Um, I went seven days in between a water change, and everything seems really good. Um, I've actually been waiting on a water test kit from Amazon, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the water in the brackish lagoon when I get it, and then after about three or four days it's in the aquarium, I'll test it again and, and see how it's changed. Um, the brackish water fish and all the species I have in here, with the lagoon, with the tide going up and down, and with the rainfall, the change of the salinity in the water, is very high. So, I believe everyone in here can take quite a bit of a change in uh, not just the salinity, but all the chemical makeup of the water they're in. Uh, from what I've found out, the water they're in is very high in nitrogen. Like, extremely high. Where um, the water in here in the tank is not. It's actually quite nice. Um, a few other things uh, I wanted to keep you updated on is um, my conch um, eggs. Um, the two separate um, eggs you see here, the stack here and the stack here, these are not the eggs from last time. These are both new ones. Um, one thing I found out is it takes about 20 days for the eggs uh, to mature and to hatch. Now, the stack of eggs that I first showed you in the video uh, with the conch actually laying the eggs on the glass, that was right here. What happened about five, six days in, these start to puff up. And as they puff up, they get a little, I guess you'd say, juicy. And as soon as that happens, well, you got the crabs and you have all the fish, uh, especially this um, sheep's head. They come and then they, they rub against it and they knock it off the glass and they eat the eggs uh, right out of there. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, you know, it's food for everybody. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any conch eggs to hatch in here. Um, as you can see, these are two separate egg eggs. Uh, sacks where stacks of eggs where they've laid eggs in a few places around the aquarium so far um, there's some back here on the back tank there on the back of the tank there uh, there's some on this rock um, they're all over so they're pretty busy um, the two conch uh, obviously it's a male and a female you'll see one of them hiding back here they pretty much have nothing to do all day and they're stuck in this tank together uh, so that's what happens with them. Um, I'm going to try and isolate one of the stacks of these eggs. Uh, maybe in, um, you know, like uh, like those little cages, the little uh, um, plexiglass uh, squares that they keep a small fish fry in. Uh, and see what happens. Um, other than that, I still go down to the lagoon and I try and catch, you see all these ghost shrimp? Uh, the pipefish loves them. He's actually pretty, uh, you know, good at attacking them, and, uh, you know, he's buying there, probably eating one right now. But he'll eat a few of those ghost shrimp a day. Um, no one else in the tank seems to eat the ghost shrimp. Uh, they do a pretty good job of cleaning the tank, as you can imagine. And other than that, um, everyone else, uh, you know, they, they just seem to like all the food that I bring off the barnacles. And uh, I, I feed them tropical flakes and shrimp pellets. Um, what I'm going to do right now is um, I was having trouble with uh, feeding the flounder. Um, you see, he's a really, really cool, colorful one right there. Isn't he neat? Check him out. Um, you know, getting the food that they eat and everything... Uh, from the river was pretty difficult. So what, um, one of the things I read that they like to eat is brine shrimp. So I have uh, gotten from the local pet store uh, frozen brine shrimp. 
And I've been, you know, adding it to the tank little by little. And as you can see, everyone loves this. They go bonkers over it. It's almost like when I put fresh barnacles in the tank. Uh, they just immediately attack. And these are your frozen square uh, barnacles. I mean, frozen square uh, um, brine shrimp. And you just defrost it in a cup of water from the tank. And let them have at it. I used to turn the filter down um, so it all didn't stick on that um, uh, pre-filter back there, but everyone eats them right off of the pre-filter, even the fish, they seem to go right for it. So, you know, as you can see, everyone's pretty happy. Um, I'm probably pretty soon going to change this 10-gallon tank over to my 30-gallon tank. Um, and to correct a lot of mistakes, one of the things I did was I added these uh, little pebbles in with my Florida crushed coral. And it was a pretty big mistake. Uh, a, a lot of the species that live in the rock, they can't get down in there because of that. Um, and a few other little mistakes I made. And, um, you know, the tank is so small, I haven't been able to keep certain species in there. Uh, that clown goby he was so fast and he you know he was like seven inches long that he would just dart around the tank uh, in, in one swoop he'd make it the other side and it just wasn't fair to keep him in there so i brought him back to the lagoon and let him go um where he was pretty happy about that i bet anyways um i'm gonna try and get this all over to the 30 gallon tank here soon you know it's gonna be quite a chore um, obviously, I'm going to need uh, quite a bit of Florida crushed coral and some other things. But it's going to be better for this experiment because a lot of the species I'm getting are, are, are quite large. And this 10-gallon tank just doesn't do them justice. So, uh, you know, I hope you're enjoying this because I really am. And I'm sorry I haven't been able to post any videos here uh, lately. Uh, you know, life's kind of gotten in the way. But my fish are still really happy, and I am too. And I'm still really enjoying this experiment. Um, I'm going to stop calling it an experiment pretty soon because it seems to work. You know, if you want to live by the ocean, um, you can get yourself a fish tank and a bucket and a net and go down there and catch your own fish and have your own brackish or so, even for that matter, saltwater fish tank. You know, it, it, without uh, adding any uh, salts or any chemicals to it, just keep yourself an average uh, five to seven uh, day water change. Anyways, everyone, I hope you're all having a good time and enjoying yourselves and have a great evening. Thanks for tuning in and uh, thanks for sharing my interest with this and have a good day, fish people.